Let's convert the decimal 1.75 to an improper fraction and then to a mixed number. So here's how we do this. What we can do first is call this 1.75 over 1. It's still 1.75 because we're just dividing by 1. Now we have the start of a fraction. If we could get 1.75 to a whole number, that would make this a lot easier. So because there are two decimal places, if we multiply this by 100, like this, 100 times 1.75, that'll give us 175, and that's a whole number. But we also have to multiply the denominator by 100 as well. That's because 100 over 100, that's equal to 1. So we're multiplying this by 1. We don't change the value, just the way it's represented. So 100 times 1, that is 100. So the decimal, 1.75, we've simplified it to this improper fraction, 175 over 100. And it's an improper fraction because the numerator, that's larger than the denominator. We can simplify this further because 25 goes into 175 and 100. So 7 times 25, that's 125. And then 4 times 25 is 100. So we end up with the fraction simplified 7 fourths. This is an improper fraction again because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So let's convert 7 fourths to a mixed number. 4 goes into 7 one time with 3 left over. Bring the denominator across. So 7 fourths and 1.75, that equals the mixed number 1 and 3 fourths. 1 times 4, that's 4, plus 3, that's our 7. Then we just have the denominator the same. And do note that the decimal 1.75 and the fraction 175 over 100 or 7 fourths or 1 and 3 fourths, they're all equal to the same value. They're just written differently. This is Dr. V converting the decimal 1.75 to an improper fraction and a mixed number. Thanks for watching.